All right, so this is going to be a rough day for Connor. <laughs> Another rough day for Connor. So it's 6.07 a.m. I'm up to catch a flight, and uh, somebody starts shooting me some information about a bar fight that happened uh, in Ireland where uh, Conor McGregor apparently beat the brakes off of a fan that he was hanging out with in the bar. And I have receipts. I've got the article. It just broke in the media that he was in a, some kind of scuffle with fans. And I've got a chat with a guy who was there. I got a picture of the guy that he beat up. I've got pictures of Connor and his friends in the bar. Like, I get a lot of a lot of messages. This is legit, dude. So I'm going to show all of that to you, and we're going to discuss because, my goodness gracious. Apparently, Connor, like, Connor got his first win on Ultimate Fighter last night. I said before the... Uh, I said before the show, based on communication that was going on, you know, uh, from like around Ultimate Fighter from Chandler and Connor, I predicted that Connor had won Ultimate Fighter. And then so when he went 0-7 or whatever, I was like, okay, apparently I misread that. But then apparently his guy won last night. I have a feeling this guy's gonna win. That is my it's still my it's still my hypothesis. I think that Connor's dude is gonna win. And uh man, that would be a crazy comeback. Maybe an indicator of what's going to happen here because uh He's going to need a big comeback moment to come back from whatever he's been doing for the last couple of years to beat Michael Chandler, assuming that they actually fight. So we're going to jump into it because I got a plane to catch. And uh, that is what it is. Exclusive, dog. I got that exclusive. I don't know if he wants me. As a matter of fact, I'm probably not supposed to say his name, given that, uh, you know, this is actually like it. But, you know, anyway, his name's Ashley. So thank you, Ashley, uh, for sending me this stuff. So let's jump into it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you best do that, dog. You best do that now. Also, I did a video yesterday where I talked about Israel Adesanya lying about uh, not having a plan. And I got so much I got so much flack in the comments that I realized I'm like, oh, I didn't show the video of him saying, I'm going to go into the octagon and do this. And I don't know why I didn't do that. I had just done a video about it. So I just, I'm like, oh, everyone's seen it. It's like, no, nope, apparently a lot of people hadn't seen it. So I'm going to put that at the end of this. I'm going to show you guys that video of him saying he was going to do what he did in the octagon. And then, you know, maybe the people who saw the last video and thought I was making it up, you guys can see this or whatever. Anyway, let's jump into it. All right. So here's what we got, dude. So here is the story right here. All right. Here's the story right here. Let me get this up. Boom. So, Conor McGregor. Wait, what? Oh, no, never mind. There's a the story right there. Jeez. All right. So, uh, Conor McGregor allegedly in a scuffle with fans at a pub. Now, Conor was not only in a scuffle. He was apparently doing a lot of yayo as well. Uh, like, the entire time. There's a lot of proof of that, too. So, like, you know, I mean, I, obviously, I know everybody already knows he's doing a lot of yayo, but, like, now we really know he's doing a lot of Yale. And I'll show you exactly how I know because it's not just from the dude and the chat with the guy who was actually in the bar with Connor. It's also uh, Connor himself says something on video here that's like, okay, well, if you don't speak drugs, let me explain to you exactly what that means because that means I was super wasted. Now I'm not as wasted because I just... <clears throat> So I will tell you exactly what that means. All right, so Conor McGregor has allegedly gotten himself into trouble again. Irishman got embroiled in a fresh controversy, got in a scuffle inside of a bar in the UK. The report is actually that he decapitated this guy. That is the, that is the verbiage that was used in the chat that I'm going to show. As a matter of fact, let me just show you that really quick. Okay, look at this. He just took John Kearney's head off in the saddle on Prenton at the funeral. All right, so we'll come back to that, right? And then I'll show you who John Kearney is too. Uh, so Conor McGregor's allegedly got, he was down, uh, for a funeral for his aunt Pamela notorious, who has built himself a reputation for bar brawls is recently spotted in a video rushing out of a bar in Burkhead in England. Oh, I'm sorry. He was in England, not Ireland. Sorry. He was in England. The Irishman surrounded by security personnel immediately drove away as kids ran along the car with cameras. A TikTok news user named Albie lad provided commentary after the video detailing the incident. There were sounds of glass shattering inside the pub before Conor McGregor rushed out, demanding to be evacuated from the from the spot immediately. Uh, the TikTok user said on a clip later posted on, "Hey, it's it's effing proper gone off today. <laughs> it's proper gone off today. We were just standing outside. We hear we hear glasses smashing in there, and he ran out with his bodyguards and was like, get me out of here, get me out of here now.'" Unfortunately for Conor McGregor fans, the news emerges on the same day of episode eight where he got his first win. Okay, so 
in another uh, in another article that I already saw, I'm not going to go, I don't have time, I'm literally trying to catch a flight, but I'm going to tell you, I already looked at another article, this will be very easy to find, that in another video, apparently Connor was like, I just did a straightener. So like, he's on his way out, he's like, I just did a straightener. Okay, so uh, assuming that that's true, it's reported in an article, and uh, assuming that's true, what a straightener means is, this is what a drunk person's like, you know, I... And you're kind of crooked and you're slouching. But then you go, and you're like, all right, let's go. So it straightens you up, okay? That's a straightener. Now, let's get into the uh, specific exclusive information that I have, which is, boom, this is John Kearney. This is the dude who he apparently punched in the face. Now, let me get this a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see his face. Oh, that's not the right one. Um, Let me get this a little bigger so you can see his face. And let's just take a look because, so this to me looks like a guy who likes to party, dude. He also looks like a guy who maybe, you know, uh, he might get a little mouthy at times in a bar, you know, if I was just going to guesstimate. But this is John Kearney, apparently. This is the dude that Connor punched in the face. And how we know that is because Yahtzee, this is like the exclusive chat that I was sent. McGregor's at Saddle Club. He just took John Kearney's head off at, in the saddle on Prenton at a funeral, been on the flake with them at John's, been doing his head in all day. So these guys have been on Yayo this whole time partying. Oh, well, how can you prove that? Inside picture of Connor. Really? Oh, that's it? That's all you got? Boom. Another inside picture of Connor from that place. So these guys really were there, and apparently Connor was raging his face off and uh, doing, ab- you know, doing. listen, man. I hope I'm making clear, man. I am not in a position to be judging people for doing yayo. People call me methy on fire. That's not because I've ever done meth, and I certainly don't do blow. But nonetheless, uh, what's the right way to say this? I'm a very experienced person, you know? Like, you're going to be hard-pressed to talk about a situation that I have no experience with at all. You know what I mean? Like, very few. Very, very few. You're like, dude, I got a body in the trunk. I'm like, whoa, bro. (laughs) If I did have experience with that, I wouldn't tell you. But uh, when it comes to, oh, a guy's in the bathroom, get you know, he's in the bathroom with a blah, blah, blah. And he, it's like, okay, yeah. Oh, he was in the bathroom with a big, big girl like that? Conor McGregor? He could have any girl there. He can have any girl there, right? And he's in the bathroom with that girl. I Oh, gee, I wonder why he chose her. Probably because he's into super big girls. Or maybe she had something that he wanted, you know? <laughs> So I wonder if John Kearney's okay, uh, because apparently he got punched in the face by Conor McGregor, and I have seen with my own eyes, that's a pretty heavy shot, dude. That's a pretty heavy shot. I mean, the old man ate it, but uh, this sounds like it was a little bit more serious of a fight. So that is what is going on. Uh, Let's just really quick stop and speculate. Is Conor McGregor ever coming back? Is Conor McGregor ever coming back? Is he ever going to come back? Because, I mean, listen, I don't know, dude. Listen, like he. it sounds like when he was going to fight Khabib, he was partying, right? Like, he was raging. He was off his head. So, maybe the fact that he's partying has no impact on whether or not he's going to fight Michael Chandler. But, man, you know? I mean, I will say this, dude. I'm going to give him a little bit of, of, of leeway on one thing, which is that guys, a guy that famous doesn't just kick it in like bars. You know what I mean? Like, like you go to clubs and you're Conor McGregor and you're kind of wild, whatever, and you're that you're that famous. You're famous for being a fighter. People are going to press you. You know what I mean? Now, he's wild, obviously. He is a wild and out of control dude when he parties. But like, he's going to have more situations where, you know, stuff can happen than a regular person who's just like going to the bar. You know what I mean? But nonetheless, get it together, dude. Please, please get it together. I really want to watch you fight. Like, fight people in the cage, not hear about you beating people up in bars. Okay? Please. Now, let's switch gears really quick because I want to show you something because I took, like, like I said, dude, so many people yesterday were like, dude, this is a reach, man. He's, like, this is, you said that, you said that Izzy lied, man. You said he, he, he didn't lie, man. He just said he didn't have a plan. And I'm like, uh, right. He said he didn't have a plan. Yeah. How's that a yeah, lie? Really promote- it's like, uh, well, I mean, that's a pretty simple thing to discuss here. Hang on. Let me pull it up for you guys right now. Uh, 
here, right here. All right, here we go. So, Jesse, why did you say it was a lie? It wasn't even a lie. Did you? It wasn't even a lie. Oh, really? Was it not a lie? Ready? Okay, so actually, let me just recap in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I did a video yesterday where, I said, where Izzy had made some statements the day before where he was like, listen, man, I was just lost it when I went in there and said all those end bombs to Drickus. I, I had no plan whatsoever. I didn't even know what I was going to say when I got in there. It just like came out. And then he's like, you know, all credit to, to Drickus for working really hard. And I'm like, why is he being nice? And why is he pretending like, like, he, it was like, don't hold me accountable, man. Like, I didn't like, it's not like I like planned to do that. It's like, yeah, you did, dude. That's a complete lie. Yes, 100% you plan to do that. And here's how I know, because you put this up on your own in social media. I, I'm excited for this fight on paper or through their, their resume. People will look at Rob and say, oh, Rob's got this. Rob's you know, going to smoke this guy right around right, from a champion. Look, Drake's fight's ugly, but he always finds a way to win. I really, really pray he gets his own against Rob, just because I think it's one for the history books. But well, Drake's, if, if he wins... I'm gonna, I'm gonna punish him. I'm gonna torture him. I'm gonna, yeah. But I'm gonna make sure he wins so I can step in the cage and just call him a, the whole time. What's up, bitch ass? What's up? Bro? You wanna be one of us? Yeah. <laughs> I spit up. What's up? What's up, what's up bitch? And we try to talk shit. I'll be like, what's up? Huh? Bitch ass, bitch. Oh, I've already, I've, I've did it. Like, I'm in the shower, I've seen it so many times, man. So many times, I swear, I just walk in the cage and I can just feel myself. I feel myself like turn. <laughs> I feel myself turn. And I'm just there, like, Whoa. just feeling it. I'm just like, what's up? Let's go, what's up? Let's go, cheer. What's up? Yeah. All right. All right. So, anyone in my comments yesterday, oh, he's not lying, dude. Yeah, he is. Okay? It's a lie. If you say, I had no plan when I went in there, I, I don't even know what I, I had no plan. Yeah, you did, dude. So, listen, I am an Izzy fan. My point was, just play the heel, dude. Like, you got a good thing going. Just play the heel. But to anybody who said that I made that up and it was a reach, what are you talking about, dude? He literally put that video out, showing that he planned to go in there and say exactly what he said, and then he made a statement two days ago being like, listen, I had no idea what I was going to do when I got in there because people broke his balls so hard about dropping end bombs and screaming at, like all this racist stuff or whatever, however everybody's interpreting it. You know what I mean? I personally don't care for the hundredth time. But yeah, so that. Now, I am going to go fly to Wisconsin and go lay by a lake all day, every day, except for when I put videos up because I'm bringing my green screen and my microphone because that's what kind of YouTube boss I am. I wake up at 5.45 in the morning and I run upstairs and do videos and I bring all my gear to a resort in Wisconsin so I can continue to make videos. And if anybody's, oh, dude, you're so lucky that you made it on YouTube. Luck ain't got nothing to do with it, son. This is why I made it, because I would film this video while we're trying to rush out the door to go make a flight, and I'm bringing all my stuff with me to a resort where everyone else would just chill and go swim, etc. Hard work, son. Hard work. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. Peace.